Nobody can overtake you. You're going to win the race. You won the Canadian Grand Prix. Well done, your first win. Woo! Thanks, guys. This is cool. Come and get it. <laughs> Welcome to the Bahrain International Circuit. It's six o'clock, and qualifying is about to begin. Alright guys and welcome to this third episode of the F1 All-Stars Career Mode here in as Daniel Ricciardo in the Red Bull. As you saw from the intro there, a little sneak peek of um, what's to come in this, uh, well not what's to come but a little highlight of Daniel Ricciardo in his um, first season with Red Bull and um, hopefully we may be able to get a win here and split those two Mercedes and um, yeah all that. So in one shot qualifying we've come up with a new solution for the race because Red Bull's such a good car. Um, I've actually come up with a solution because if I'm like at actually leading the race, it's, it's obviously in a Red Bull and it's going to be a good car. I could be able to streak a uh, good gap and obviously I'll, I'll be in the Mercedes for the next race and it'll just carry on, carry on, carry on. Me being a Mercedes or another high-end car for the rest of the season. So what I've decided to do was, if I'm leading the race and I build up, say, like a five-second gap, um, when I'm leading the race, I have to go back from the um, back... Uh, I have to go from the back of the grid when I'm leading the race for the um, ne next race to that race. So say if um, I'm in the lead, I would have to, um, and I've got like a um, five second gap. Five, I could move five seconds forward for the next race. I can move five places forward to the next race on the grid and go um, say like, yeah, to the um, P, would it be 17? Yeah, it'd be P17. So yeah, that's the new role. It, it, I kind of know how to explain it, but... You, you'll get it guys when it when it starts to um, when I start leading and then um, yeah so um, anyway moving on for that we're in qualifying now we've actually completed the first second we're into fourth place it hasn't been a brilliant lap so far it's been like a really scruffy lap as you can just see we just take out the bollard there um, it's not it's been a, quite a scruffy lap we just we're not really good at this bar uh, Bahrain GP on this game it just doesn't we've I've never actually been great at Bahrain as you can see now we're in P8 and we were actually sneak P P9 there just a minute ago but it's alright because we managed to get it back on the exit of the corner and we're, we're still in P4 can we squeeze to a P3 that's the main target for this race so we're still in P4 and we're actually in P3 and we're battling for P3 now with uh, I think it's Bottas in this I'm not quite sure but yeah it's a do or die move here and we've actually nailed that last corner that's probably one of the best uh, last corners we've actually managed to do and can we all just um, maintain this third position going down into starting green? and it's P3 so we managed to fend off the cars from behind and get that crucial P3 maybe in the race be able to split that Mercedes, those two Mercedes if we managed to get a good start as you see there engineer is pretty happy we're pretty happy so yeah nice job you see the two Mercedes lock out the front row of the grid as they always do in 2014 uh, obviously Lewis Hamilton being on pole position then followed by us we may be able to split them if we get a good start but we do not know yet we do not know the, our race pace but obviously our qualifying pace was pretty shit so um, and Sebastian Vettel there I think he believe he's in sixth so an all right showing from him oh no fifth um, an all right showing from him but hopefully he can move forward in the race and I'll leave you with the commentators of Anthony Davis and David Croft for the race Okay guys, so that's the grid for you for the Bahrain start of the Bahrain Grand Prix. I hope can we move forward in this race? We do not know. As we down, smooth to stage five. Red, bright lights. We've got five, and there's no more lights, and we're away. And it's been a pretty bad getaway. As you can see the bus has just pulled alongside us, and he's actually trying to challenge the two Mercedes now. So an absolute bummer of a stop, but we can actually dive up his inside. We need that if we want to try and chase down these two Mercedes right in front of us. I see Hamilton's had a blistering getaway after that first corner when Bottas almost went up the inside of Rosberg and that's obviously compromised uh, Rosberg's um, chase of Hamilton now, and we actually almost hit Rosberg we've just done a tiny lock, lock up millimetres away from just hitting Rosberg off the track there that could have ended both our races as you see now we're moving on 
It's still lap one, and we've actually made a move on the inside into the hairpin on Nico Rosberg. So that we've actually managed to split the team safe. If we can maintain this gap now, that would be absolute astonishing. We need 18 points in this championship and for our team constructor as well, which is Abbott Racing up the bit. So I know it's shaky and racing and stuff like that. I'm not sure what's cool. But we cut onto lap two now, and as you can see, Howard's on the best lap of the race. And now Nico Rosberg is close behind in the pursuit of us. Is he going to make a move? Oh, he's gone actually around the outside of us. He's trying to go around the outside. So brave move by Nico Rosberg there. He's made a slight lock up. And he's actually ma managed to move, make the move on side. We don't really battle him too much. We know we do not have the pace. And we need to save these tyres in this five crucial lap. We need the... And actually Bottas is trying to make a move now. Are we going to be able to... And yeah, we do. Yeah, we managed to actually maintain our position of P3. We need this crucial P3. That would be... P3 in both races um, of Malaysia and Bahrain if we manage to um, stay here. But uh, currently at the minute we'll be um, in the second Red Bull of Sebastian Vettel next race if it look, if it uh, carries on like this. As you can see, quite on to the last um, lap of the race, nothing really happened in um, lap four. Um, yeah, just turn on to the lap. Uh, the, Last half of the race, sorry guys. Uh, moving down into uh, last corner. Sebastian Vettel's in P3. As you can see, Lewis Hamilton's just sublimely won this race. Great job by him. Pole position to the race win. Grand slam, really. He got class slap. And we come in that P3. So, got happy and a bit unhappy that we didn't manage to um, split the two Mercedes or manage to get in front of them at the um, going down to the first corner. But... I'm pretty happy with P3. We don't really go well at Bahrain. Neither does the Red Bull. And hopefully, I believe it's next round in China, we will be um, placed as Sebastian Vettel. So, a little bit unhappy we didn't get one of those Mercedes for um, China. But, you know, China's not a bad track for the Red Bull. You've got the first sec first and second sector, but then you've got that fat ass straight in the first sector. So, it's all to play for in China. And hopefully, we may be able to move forward and hopefully for Spain get one of those Mercedes and manage to get some points because we are very far in the points right now even though we've had three, uh, two third place finishes in the um, two uh, la in the t past two races this one and being Malaysia in the Sauber with Aintree which is an absolutely astonishing race if you haven't watched that I recommend you go and check that out um, please, li please like the video guys if you've enjoyed this and um, yeah be sure to subscribe for more awesome racing content like this and I'm going to try and push for um, two episodes a day. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next race to China. Thank you. We'll be Sebastian Vettel.